There are two fundamental types of electrochemical cell, electrolytic cell and galvanic cell. An electrolytic cell converts electrical energy into chemical energy. The redox reaction is not spontaneous and the electrical energy had to supply to initiate the reaction. The external battery supplies the electron, they enter through the cathode and come out through the anode. The anode is positive and cathode is negative. The reaction at the anode is oxidation and thus of the cathode is reduction. Galvanic cell converts the chemical energy into electrical energy. The redox reaction is spontaneous and is responsible for production of electrical energy. The electrons are supplied by the species getting oxidized. They move from anode to the cathode in the external circuit. The anode is negative and the cathode is positive. The reaction at the anode is oxidation and that of the cathode is reduction. We are going to talk about galvanic cell. Anode was negative charge as zinc electrode depth in zinc of solution. Cathode was positive charge as copper electrode depth in copper solution. Salt pressures connected the two halves of the cell and prevent the ions of the more noble metal from plating out at the other electrode. Electric wire and lamp. The anode is the electrode where oxidation takes place in a galvanic cell. It is the negative electrode because when oxidation occurs, electrons are left behind on the electrode. This electron then flows through the external wire to the cathode. The cathode is the electrode where reduction takes place in a galvanic cell. It is the positive electrode as ion gets reduced by taking up electrons from the electrode and the plate out. Salt to to contain a solution of potassium chloride. Was balanced the degrees of negative charges in the anode and the increase of negative charges in the cathode. According to standard reduction potential table, you need to take a look at the values you have for the standard reduction potential table. Magnesium had a higher reduction potential, so it oxidized. Copper has a lower reduction potential, so it reduced. In conclusion, magnesium works as anode and lost electrons, and copper works as cathode and gain electrons. Some applications on galvanic cell, for example, lithium batteries, which we use them every day in our life. When we use digital cameras, smart devices, electrical vehicles, mobile phones, and laptops.